All right. So it says it's live. Let's double check. All right, I think that's good. So here's my little station area here. Just where I have everything connected. Let me cover my cords so that way I'm not keeping them. My little light down here, the water to refill my stuff. All right. Let's do this. I have paint all over me already, but let's do it. Horrible viewpoint of my own. It's fine though. I should scoot this forward. No, it needs to be right there. All right. I'm going to get everything ready on this side, so I'm just going to talk as I'm sitting here. I have all my paintbrushes, I have my water ready, I'm just setting up my actual area. This is pre-prepped um, already. with a white paint let's see there you go way brighter so this already has white paint on it and i did a protective coating you can kind of see but it, it added texture to it so i have that background to work with Okay, let me get all everything. I'm going to sketch it first real quick just so I can get an idea of exactly what I'm doing. And let me make sure that I actually put the pictures that I needed to reference, that I have it saved. Okay, I do. Perfect, all right. So this is what I'm going to make it look like. And this is what the inside is gonna look like. All right, and Let's do this one right here. And then I need YouTube right there. And actually, okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right, I'm trying to fix my setup over here. Okay, so I have my reference pictures ready to go. I just need to resize them because they're huge right now. So, they're a whole lot better. 
Now I can work with this. Now I can work with it. All right, well, like my other pictures, it's going to be, um, I'm going to do the background. So this is going to be green and it's going to be like it's on a table, but everything's going to be blurred out. So I'm going to do, I'm thinking of how big I'm going to do the cake. So the cake is going to be like really huge. Well, the cake will be, okay. I don't even have my pencil out. So we'll start it on this side. We just want to even it a little bit. And then we'll do about the same distance on this side. And that's how wide the cake is going to be. So two parallel lines. This one's going to be a little bit lower for where the bottom of the cake is. And I want it to take up a good amount of space. So there we go. That's good. And then there you go. Because the strawberry is going to be about right here. <clears throat> and that's the part I want to stand out more so I won't do it as high. But yeah, we'll do it about the same thing. I'm making it chonkier than how it is on my reference picture I'm using. So I don't even know if you could actually see the lines yet, but... There, there. And then we're going to visually go across about right here. And this is where the cake piece is going to end. So we'll do that. And then we're going to do the little angle of the actual cake slice. Like this. So we have the basic sketch. The cake out. We're going to do the layers. So one layer is going to be... Frosting down here. Yeah, it's going to go a little bit lower. This is all frosting. And then a little chunky layer of frosting. And then another layer of cake. Thicker, yeah. And then another layer. This top layer of frosting is going to be thin. Okay. This is going to be the top layer. As soon as I start putting the color on and everything, it'll, it'll all start coming together. I just have to draw the... Outline of it. Okay, so this is cake, frosting, cake, and this is why I have this. Doesn't really matter. We're gonna paint over this anyway, so let me just lighten it a tiny bit just so there's not so much gray in the undertones but it'll add to it it's fine <sighs> so we for sure want this to be this thick so we'll start from the top to the bottom so here's our first layer of cake now how thick do I want the frosting so if I get this, and then we do another one right here. Frosting. Then another one right here. So I'll just make that a little bit thicker. That's all. Solved it. 
I'm doing this whole process as I go, so you guys are joining in on the fun. I promise it'll look cute. <clears throat> I'm finding my other pictures. Here it is. Oops. Here's one of my other pieces that I've done. Don't worry about my... There you go. So we're, we're working on stuff like this and like this. So we're we're working on it. I totally forgot. I forgot to share it to Facebook. Okay, so this was all the same process. <clears throat> That's good enough. All right. Okay, so this is um, what we're working towards. I have a whole bunch more here. They're part of my cake series. Here's this one. It's a fun one. But... We're working on our cakes, okay? One of my favorite cakes in real life. Red velvet. So, yeah. Okay, so this one is going to be one of my bigger ones. All right. Now back to focusing on what I was doing. So we need to do three. So I just need to make these layers a little bit chunkier. There you go. So one will be this. That size. And then we'll do a thicker layer of... Frosting, so about right here will be the frosting, and then this. Okay, see that measures out now. All I had to do was okay, so then this right here will be the frosting. Okay, and then the frosting. This is all going to be strawberries in here. <laughs> this is the cake. This is all going to be strawberries. Uh, just when I start putting the paint on there, it'll all come together. So, cake. same this is going to be frosting and this is going to be the bottom last cake all right and we're going to put it on a plate so are we or am i just going to do Red. Depends on how I do the background. I think I'm going to do 
Um, cause I am doing green cause it's going to be like it's outside. So I think I'm going to do a basic red, like fade out. Yeah. Cause it's going to be blue, like the sky green going up like picnic type spots. And then that'll be cute. Now I get to start painting. So this is the fun part. And then, of course, the shadow is going to be right here with all the detail. It's going to be the shadow of the cake. And it's going to be cute. And the strawberry is going to be up here. So this is a strawberry would end. That's where the strawberry is going to be. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then we're going to have a little strawberry slice right here on the side. Just chilling. All right, now to get color on it. I don't know if you could see it, but let's. This is what the sketch looks like. Now let's start painting because that's the fun part. I have these paper things I got and they're made specifically for painting so even when you use them like nothing sticks to them the paint's still wet oh my gosh but just peels off it's pretty cool I just use them all like crazy so it doesn't matter either way they get used alright I'm trying to keep myself on a time constraint because once I start putting the paint down, then it's like a little bit better process because I get to see where the shadows and everything are a lot easier and it's, it's a better process that way. So let me put it on my, my clipboard. I'm going to use this to put um, my colors on. And so <clears throat> it's a strawberry cake, but first of all, we're going to do the uh, background. So we're going to use a lot of greens and blues and we're going to do, I'm still, I'm trying to decide which color I want to use for the table. So doing white paint. Put this next to me. Well, it's already all over my hand. This is how I do not keep paint from getting all over me. So it's fine, whatever it happens. Green, blue, white. I need a little bit of yellow, which I'm going to have to. Where is my yellow? I have no idea, but I do have my watercolors. I do have um, a watercolor, so here they are. 
And I do have different yellows that are gonna be perfect for the amount that I need. So I'm definitely going to be using that. And I use these old gelato containers for my um, water, for my brushes. I use whatever brush just feels right for the moment. Whatever I have on hand. I'm not picky. I like finding different textures with different things. So I'm going to put it in there because I was using this one the other day and I really hope I didn't mess it up. But if I did, then it's fine. It's all crunchy now. I have two just like it, but I'm going to have to search for the, Oh, okay. It's getting soft again. Good. I just had to soak it in some water. So I have this. I have towels. I have the same towels I always have for cleaning my brushes and I enjoy sitting on the floor very much. It's good for my back. It's just good in general. I love it. And that's where I feel like I can just relax a lot more. So getting my space area ready because once I start painting it gets it gets messy. But I like it. So all right well I'm just gonna paint the background green. I'm going to take some green, blue, and I'm going to make it look like a, like summer day, like a bright day. So I just kind of want to wash that over. Because I want it to look like it's blurred. So that's the main key. And you can still see the lines there and I see the outline of my cake. So that's, that's the good part. So I'm going to use a little bit darker green. So I can add some texture. I'm going to try to adjust the light as I paint because I need to know, um, I need to figure out how to make the lighting look the best. So I'm getting a little bit of black, mixing it and adding it like bushes or trees or anything in the background. It doesn't matter because you're not really going to see it. Get it completely dry and just move your brush, however. You just mainly want to get the paint on there. I always show everyone the messy way of painting to make it come out extremely nice. So let's do a little bit more up on top and then. We're gonna blend that in, in a second. Hopefully the lighting's fine. Okay, we mainly want it to look look like we're outside. That's the main thing. Like we're outside and so now we're going to get some light blues in there because we want to get a light, a really light sky 
to work with. This is all the background, so remember, this is all going to be not even the main focus of the actual picture. It's just the background. So we're going to make it a like aqua blue pretty color. I'm excited about summer and everything. So we'll do this. I'm going to add more white. Because right here, I'm going to add some yellow. So we'll do this. And then we're going to blend it all. Because we don't want anything like in the background standing out too crazy. My dogs are barking, acting crazy in the room. They're going to go play outside right now. They're going to go play. It's so quiet. I don't want to put anything on. I have no copyrights on here. So we'll make it look like a pretty forest or something. Like we're gonna have a piece of uh, cake in a nice like forest picnic area. Just wanna make sure that all the edges of the cake or the sky or something's gonna be showing is filled in. I wanna make sure it's all blended. <sighs> I went a little too crazy right there, but that's fine. So we're gonna get the white and just go through on different spots and Blend that. Make it look like lights coming through on certain areas. Bring light to the center of the picture so we can have a good picture of the cake. All right. Put it on there, I'm gonna let it set and then work on the other areas. I'm just holding the little stand still. I like painting cakes. They just look so cool. And even in a VR, I love uh, building. When I build, I have a um, virtual reality bakery that I have. And... I like building cakes on there too. I just think that's an art form. I don't bake cakes in real life, um, but I know a lot of people who do and that's, that's art. That's like talent, so. We're gonna put all this and add a little bit more blue, some yellow in the middle to make it look like sunshine. Add a little bit more shadow on the side and then work on the table. Then we're going to get to actually doing the cake. So I'm gonna get a little bit darker grays. A little bit more green.
Okay. Now let's add some over there, a little bit deeper tones. Every time I want to do more, I'm like, nope, we're only doing a certain set of time. So I have to keep myself in the time frame I gave myself. All right. So now that we did that with this brush, I'm going to clean the paint mostly off of it. Get a little bit wet and let it chill for a second. Um, where's my other brush? That's fine. Alright, let me wet this one. Let's see if it'll actually. I'm just gonna take these bigger ones, blend them a tiny bit. Doing a little bit detailed. Not too much, but enough. Because then, and this is a flat one, so I'm just bringing just like actual lines to it now. So they don't just look like little dots. Dots and lines, that's how we make leaves. That's how I make leaves. Blurry little leaves. Blurry leaves. All right. And it's how I dry little areas. So, hey. It's just putting paint on there and doing random stuff. Do whatever you feel like doing. All right. Now I'm going to add the up there. I'm going to add yellow right there. I'm going to use my watercolor, do this intense yellow. Okay. They look like lights coming through. Man, I wish I could listen to music. I'm like singing music in my head. I'm used to listening to music while I do this. Trying to find my big brush that I was using. It's nowhere to be seen. So that's fine, whatever. All right, now I'm going to do um, the tablecloth. So it looks crazy right now, but that's cool. I need this to dry a little bit more. That way when I, yeah, see, it's still too wet. <clears throat> I'm going to go through and make some uh, circles on it. Give it a little a little style to it.
Add some shadows that look like plants in All right. I'm used to my little canvases, so my time frame is like way off for things, but it's fine. Okay, as long as I get something and you get to be creative in some way and somehow throughout the day, that's what matters. So, be creative. White colors over it. All right. I love it because it looks messy, and then when I'm done, I love how it turns out. <laughs> I love it. All right. Everything always looks messy. And you do just random little dots. We're gonna use different sizes because we need to get the effect. And I'm just using a wet paintbrush. So we're gonna do these and then we're gonna get a smaller brush and then use that bigger brush and do a couple more. So we want it covered in little um, circles, little light circles. So we're gonna take this big old paintbrush that we were using. We're gonna clean most of it and we're going to Put it in a circle. Just put it on there and go in circles that easy. Alright. And then inside of those 
do smaller ones. And then we're pretty much done. So we're going to do even smaller ones. We're going to get a round brush and just wet it. And... More water. Too much water because it's dripping. But we just dry it and then get some more. <clears throat> Do it however you like. It's your art. You can do it however you like. When you see the end result, if you like it, then you'll know how it was done start to finish. And if not, then, hey, at least you learned what you didn't like. That's a good thing. Either way. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. I didn't even see anybody was writing anything. I literally have my thing covered the entire time. My bad. Oh my God, yes, making a cake. Chicken nuggets. Oh my God. My bad, I did not know. So yes. My bad, everybody. My bad. If anyone comes in again, I'm paying attention. So I'm just going through and on these, I'm just getting some of that um, extra water out. Let me turn this and see. I did have it like, so. It does look crazy, it does. Let me tell you, it's got to look crazy before it could look cute. And it's just how I do it. And my favorite part is when I go back and I just look at it. And I'm like, I'm glad I did that. I was questioning it so much. That's crazy. So don't question your art. Just do it. Oh, I feel bad. And I literally told myself to... Hey, make sure you check the comments. Don't leave that thing open because you're going to forget. And I forgot. So my bad. I feel rude. And I'm not. So. Alright, I'm good. I worked through that. Alright. I love it. I love it. Let me do something right here because it's needing it. Kind of a circle. It's fine. All right. So that's kind of happening in the background. Let me blur this uh, yellow and blue a little bit because it's making me feel a certain way. There it goes. Okay, that's cute. All right, let's just do the table a random, um, what would go good with red, white and red. I wanna do a red table. You know what I am, I'm gonna do red. Very specifically, because I think it would look Yeah, because it'll have the contrast. Okay, yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm going to go through over here and put a bunch of white, um, smaller, white glitzy dots at the end. So. I'm just going in with red, and I'm going to make it a little bit 
darker and then light. So I'm gonna work with both a deep red and a red red. And we're just going to, let's see, put it right across. This way, so I just want to paint it to get And you don't have to be exact or precise because remember, it's a cake. You're going to do shadows down here, all this other stuff. So we just kind of want the outline of everything. This is what the other strawberry, little strawberry slice is going to be. So let's just get the background down. And then we'll work on the detail. Oh. Here's the more vibrant red. Maybe that. I don't know if it's going to be too uh, shiny. It's fine. Let me find out where I put the line. That is not straight at all. It's okay. Should I clear my throat right there? Let me turn it this way real quick because um yeah, let me let me just do this line. Okay. I got it. I just have to do this line straight. Try not to get too much red on the cake part. I promise it's gonna look cute. It's all about just putting it on. Looks like a big old watermelon. This down, let it dry. It's going to be cake down there, but we just need this on here, anyways. I do have like um, quick videos of a uh, start to finish, and I am going to do that with this video too, so most people are going to see the quick start to finish version of this. Thank you. Hello, Layla. All right, now. And my favorite part is adding the details. So I know when I do the strawberry, it's gonna be, it's gonna be cute. I like to try to make it realistic, so. See, we need to get it a little bit tacky. I like it. That way I can move it, but then it looks like it's a textured um, tablecloth. I was going to call it a table blanket. I mean, it's kind of like a table blanket. There it goes. All right. And 
there it goes. That's the texture I need it right there. Where it could pull a little bit, but it's not so runny, I guess, is the word. I don't know. I just go off of how it feels. See, and then it looks like it has folds. It just looks cute. So, yeah. Let me finish this up. And then up here, I'm going to add it more uh, darker to light, but I just need this first coat to do its thing and sit there for a bit. All right. Let's move this part. Na -na 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 -na. All right, so I am going to have to scoot that up a little bit, I think. You know, maybe it's just the point of view that I'm not. It's fine. It's fine. But I am going to add this just to start blending this a little bit. Do it right here. Okay. All right. Now that this is basically chill, I'm going to start working on the top part of the cake. So I'm going to need my picture out. But I need to make it tiny. There. All right. Now let me get rid of that. Oh, no, not yet. I'm going to use the red. Oh my goodness, no. So my cheesecake got in the crossfire and apparently I got some paint on my cheesecake. See it? See that little red dot? <sighs> okay, well, cheesecake got in the, in the middle of it and it got some, so not cool. All right, so it's been under an hour. I'm trying to do like two hours and like, that's it. Cause I could do more, but I'm not trying to. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is actually dry my, oh, let me move my cakes. I don't want to mess my cakes. I'm gonna dry it, so I have my blow dryer. And apparently I unplugged it. I forgot. I didn't. Let me plug it back in. <clears throat> All right.
All right, that is finished. So now I'm going to get to painting. I'm going to do the strawberry first. Not the detail, just filling it in. So that way I can have everything down on there. All right. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So we're going to do this piece right here. This is a strawberry slice. We had people here all day working on the roof, the roof, roof. Alright, so that's going to be the strawberry, one strawberry on the, the counter. And then we have the strawberry that's actually on the cake. So, let me... I knew I was going to forget something, dang it. It's okay, it's okay. Let me, let me figure this out because, let me, I need some blue. Get rid of this red. I knew it right by the, right by the strawberry. There. Let me do the other side. There, so that way. I'm going to add light blue right here when I come in and do the second layer before I finish it. That's fine. All right. Well, at least I got that done. Okay, good enough, good enough. Now, let me finish the strawberry. Okay. the strawberry so we do the original layer of the strawberry and then we're going to do the frosting actually the cake 
And then we're going to do the frosting because the frosting is a fun part. All right, so now we're going to do the actual cake, which is a yellow cake. So we're going to use <clears throat> my throw with that. We're going to use this color, lighten it up. It's already a cake batter color. All right, and I have some white on there. Let me get a different brush and we're going to, all right, 62 minutes. So far an hour and two minutes. I have 58 minutes to finish this because that's all the time I'm giving myself, two hours two hours to complete it so all right we did a basic cake color all right So for this, we don't really need it. Yeah, because it's, all this is mixed in with the, the frosting anyways. So we just need to make sure we actually get it on there. Get it on, add the coloring. It's gonna be crumbs. gonna be a delicious looking cake. So we're gonna start off with like just the medium color of the cake. A medium tone color because we're gonna add uh, white to it. See like this, I went a little crazy. So now I'm gonna have to add extra layers because of it. And it's fine, it's fine how this picture was made. Oh, well, we'll not make that mistake again next time. I probably will, but it's okay. So we don't need to be extra careful with this. We just mainly want to get enough color to cover that uh, green. And that's what I'm focused on right here. There it goes. But even then, it's going to go with the shadows. So let's just get it on there. And we will be mindful of that side. Okay. So there's one layer of the cake. Now we just got to do that. Three more layers. Or three more times. And then... And then we can continue on with the frosting. And I'm just mixing it right now. So this is what I'm actually mixing it on. Be mindful of the side. And for these, you can still see the lines through. That's how you know. We're going to do a second layer. 
We just need to manually first put the color down. Everything can be fixed. We just need to put it down. There you go. Second layer, a done. All right. And now we're going to grab some of this darker color over here and put it back. This one we're going to do a third layer. And since I need to make sure that it's like even, to be more mindful of this. So rest my hand. All right, and the third layer done. So now that we have that done, we're going to go through and add the texture. So we're gonna actually get this, dip it in the white and just go through and just add a little. like highlight of color. And then you just keep going over it and it's gonna blend it in. Blending it, blending it. <laughs> Let all the colors just mix in together. It's gonna make the texture that you want, so. Don't overthink it. That's my main thing. And it's gonna look like how you like it. The background came out so pretty. It's still not done yet, but yes. I was gonna go with more of a green green, like forest green, and then I was like, nah, I'm gonna do more blue green. Blue green. All right, so I'm trying to stay under two hours and I'm at 71 minutes, so let me keep at it. Now I'm going to add more. Just add it all over. Get a little bit of the darker one. Get a little bit of this one. And 
then always make sure where the colors blend you always add extra make it look like cake there it is so you kind of see the color coming through a little bit it's fine And then we are going to go through and add the darker colors, so I might as well just do it now. Because these add the little... And then later today... After we get back from the store, I'm going to be on VR. Be on VR. Be wandering around, seeing what's going on. have this leaning so all my paint is like falling off and down here it's going to be the darker part of the cake because that's the part that cooks on the oven Yellow cake. I have to sing my own music in my head since everything is copyrighted. So we're going to use this one towards the bottom where it's a little bit more cooked, you know, like in the oven. Gotta make it even. Can't really tell yet because I still gotta add that shadow, but I know it's there. The cake knows it's there. Let's see. You'll be able to tell on the sides right here. On the sides of the cake, you'll be able to tell.
this top part, yeah, I'm gonna do it all the way across the top and then on the sides, and you did the most. Okay, so do do right here. Adding more colors. I keep thinking some of them, one of them are going to come knock on the door. I told them I'm going to be painting, so just in case. So I have a cake series that I've been working on for like six months, seven months now. And this is number 14 of 22 that I'm making. And I like them. I love all my cakes. I still have to do a cupcake. I just did a cheesecake a couple days ago. good enough. Now I'm going to work on putting the frosting down so that way I can put the strawberries in there because there's going to be strawberries inside. Yeah, strawberries inside and then, okay. All right. But I will return. I'm going to um, go on a little break for a second. I was going to be finished at 5.30, but I'm going to give myself a little bit more time. But I need a, a restroom break, so I'll be back. This is where it's at so far. Let me turn it forward there. I think that's a little bit different point of view that um, I should have shown. But... There it is. I will be back. It will be live again. It'll say part two, but in that one, I'm going to finish all the frosting, actually detailing the strawberry, the strawberry slice, and uh, adding the shadow, just finishing it. So, hey, yeah. Uh, I'll be back. 